kids. You ever wonder what goes into making a glass of milk? You know, every day over a million gallons of milk are sold in this country. And that means that dairy farmers and their cows have to work real hard to make sure that we don't run out. You know, dairy farms like these tractors come in all shapes and sizes, everywhere from small family-owned farms to big company-owned farms. Now for dairy farmers, most of their farming work revolves around planting, raising, and harvesting crops that they'll use to feed their cows. Now my name is Paul, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about dairy farming while you watch some of the tractors that are used on a farm like this. So, get ready, because we're going to ride a tractor. It all starts very early in the morning, when most of us are still asleep. The farmer must get up to milk the cows and begin his daily chores. Usually, the first milking is done around 5 o'clock in the morning. In the spring, the fields must be plowed and disked. Plows are used to break up the hard, dry ground, and disks are used to break up the ground even more and make rows so the seeds can make their way into the ground and take root. Plowing and disking are done by pulling a special machine behind the tractor. Once the ground has been prepared, the farmer will then attach another machine to the tractor that will drop the seeds into the disked soil.
<laughs> wow, you know that toy tractor really had me fooled. How about you? You know, by now you've probably noticed my friends, the cows there in the background. You know, cows are a lot like big dogs. They're really very friendly animals and very curious too, but they do get scared pretty easily. And these cows, at least, don't seem to like having their picture taken. Actually, I think they're just waiting over there for the farmer to come for their afternoon milking and feeding. You know, cows have to eat a lot of food to make all that milk, and they get milked about twice a day. But don't worry, you know, it doesn't hurt them to be milked. In fact, cows get very uncomfortable if they're not milked regularly. Baby cows are called calves, and they're born right here on the farm. If a cow or a calf ever gets sick or is hurt, an animal doctor, called a veterinarian, will come and visit the farm and take care of it. Farmers need good weather to grow good crops. Too little rain or too much rain can ruin the crop. But if everything goes well, harvesting the crop will be the farmer's next job. To harvest the crop, the farmer uses a machine like this one called a combine. The combine separates the plant's grain from the plant's stalk. Can you imagine how long it would take the farmer to do that if he had to do it by hand? On larger farms, combines can be three times the size of the one that you see here. Once the combine is filled with grain, it's unloaded into a truck waiting nearby.
Boy, you know, riding on tractors, whether they're big or small, is always a lot of fun. But it's important for you to remember that any farm equipment, even a small lawn tractor like this one, can be dangerous. And you should never get too close to any operating equipment unless there's adult supervision around. Well, you know, so far we've seen how a farmer gets his fields ready for a crop by plowing and disking. And we've seen how he cuts the wheat and the barley using a combine. Well, now we're going to see what he does with the stalks of the plants after they've been cut. The stalks are then baled by a baler, another machine that is pulled behind the tractor. A baler like this one puts the stalks into neat square bales so it will be easy for the farmer to store them. Another kind of baler will put the stalks into large round bales. Cutting and baling must be done when moisture levels are low. In other words, when it's not too wet out. Too much moisture will ruin the stalks. Once the stalks have been baled, they will be stored and used to feed the cows during the winter months. You know, milking cows has changed a lot over the years. Nowadays, almost everything is done by machine. After all, an automatic milking machine can milk about 10 cows in the time it would take a person to milk just one. Now, in order to make all this milk, cows like silk here need a lot of food. So, in addition to crops like hay and barley, dairy farmers will also grow corn to feed their cows. Now, the corn grows all summer and is usually harvested around the end of September. And that's why when Halloween and Thanksgiving roll around, you'll see a lot of dried corn stalks being used as decorations around the farm. Now let's take a look at some of the machinery that a farmer uses to harvest his corn. Here's another combine, a lot like the one we saw earlier. But this one is used to harvest corn. As it makes its way up and down the endless rows of corn, it will cut and store the corn. Once it's full, it will unload the corn into a truck that will take it to a silo where it will be stored until it's needed to feed the cows during the winter.
Well, in some very simple terms, that's what dairy farming is all about. You raise some cows, you raise some crops, you feed the crops to your cows, and you milk your cows. If you want to learn some more about dairy farming or farming in general, ask your parents if there are any farms in your area that you could go visit. Or ask them to call the state or county agriculture extension. Or go to your nearby library and get some books about farming. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you had a lot of fun riding a tractor.